start recording. Hello. Uh, we are here for the Tiki League. I guess this is probably a quarterfinal. Uh, and we're against Necro. Let's have a quick look at our team. It's a bit broken. Darren, our mighty blow guy. Uh, we got a Niggle and an Agility 3, which I guess I'm holding on to for this game. Maybe I was going to replace her. I don't know, but she's probably worth holding on to. Um, at least temporarily because of the, that's such good skills for taking down ball carriers and stuff. And more specifically in this game, ghouls, because we are playing against this Necro team, which is honestly pretty well developed. I think you'd probably just want a couple of, you know, if you had block guard on these guys, you'd be feeling pretty good. But honestly, it's in a, a pretty decent place. Um, I'm not going to delay him too much. He has a little money to spend if he wants. Uh, I could blow it all here, or could maybe just get a babe and, yeah, and save the money just in case you get through and you need it for later. I guess I don't do a lot of playing in leagues, so I'm not used to the, uh, how it works when you get to playoffs. Oh, wow, I made that light way too bright. Uh, but, I don't know why it's so red. Anyway, uh, what I was trying to say was, I guess it seems like when you get to the final, all bets are off in terms of uh, people overspending and stuff. So I suppose at that point, it's like just blow your money. Although the interesting thing about this is that this team, both these teams theoretically could go on and play again next season. So it's not, it's not quite the same as uh, some, some systems. The rolling teams thing is kind of cool. Do I go on? I think I have to go on defense. Mainly because that's what I always do. Uh, let's hit this and uh, that. All right, and then we'll set up. So not too many loners. I've been used to playing with a lot more recently. Do we want our armor value 7 on the line? Probably not. I didn't realize we had an armor value 7. I probably should have got rid of him. The, the team is so messed up that it's kind of hard to see what's going on. Whoops. That's my excuse anyway. Uh, da, 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 da. At some point I'm going to, like, do something silly with this witch, I'm sure. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. The wolves don't have tackle, which is nice. He's just got the one tackle. So, you know, potentially at key points. Not that you really want to base up a tackle, mighty blow, but we could base it up with something less important, theoretically, so that we can go do work with other things. We only have... Oh, actually, we have three blood steppers, so that's not too bad. It's going to carry on the Blodger, who's only movement 6, so that is a bit of a unfortunate situation there. I wish we had our Mighty Blow, that would be such a such a helpful thing. We're going to have to cross our fingers, that doesn't hurt us too much. He's got four rerolls. Okay, interesting. Oh, because of Leader, yeah. Which is a double, so that's interesting. He took leader instead of guard. I think I'd have taken guard, but um, you know, everyone's got their own their own way of playing, own different styles, and uh, don't bounce back. Oh. <laughs> Too many touchbacks. The game's constantly punishing me for not having a kicker. So we've mitigated the fact that he doesn't have sure hands by giving him the ball. Uh, no, no elf shenanigans here. What was the kickoff result? Did we both got an extra year? Okay, I 
It's funny how much I ignore that when something else happens. I presume he's going to go after our armor bust guy, but he might go after our strength bust guy instead. Yeah, you kind of are hoping for... Um, you're hoping that they'll have a bit of trouble picking it up, right? That's that's kind of one of the nice things about being Agi 4, is that sometimes Agi 3 teams, you know, maybe they have a turn or two where they don't pick it up, and or they've, they've at least got to protect it. Now he doesn't even have to worry about the ball. If it had landed, like, here, he'd have had to commit quite a lot just to just to this, to make sure it was safe before we do anything else. Yeah. Honestly, you may as well foul him, right? Coming in for the blitz on our guard. So I'm not super surprised about that, that makes sense. This guy is kind of a liability. But you know, you have strength to, uh... Catches. Why not have a strength to guard guy? That's my philosophy. This is quite a foul happy league, so yep. So what are we going to do about this? I think not a lot, honestly, yet. Although, yeah, I was... I was going to say we could come in here and then blitz the uh, the tackle, but that's going to be tricky. Maybe we just hit this zombie, honestly. Oh, it didn't fell. Okay. So... Could come in here and hit this guy. That feels sensible-ish. I mean, if we can get rid of this this guy, that would be huge. Uh, you're actually going to have to stand up. So we are going to take a couple hits back. But if we could KO this guy or something, that'd be sweet. No, I was, I was asking a lot in fairness. You can go here. Actually, you can go here. You can go here. This guy shouldn't be hitting anybody at the back. And then you can go here. See what happens with that. Straight in on the guard, fair enough, makes sense. I'm not sure I agree with my idea of uh now I he's probably probably gonna foul the guard, though that feels a lot more worthwhile, doesn't it? He's got no he doesn't really have anybody right there, so this this guy could come out yeah, this guy could come over and foul him. Just pull this guy over or something. You could just Budge him up one, budge him up one. Come on through. How do we do for armor on the, uh... Oh, nowhere near. Tiger Moth? That's a cool name. I'm assuming that these are, uh... Planes? Yeah. Saw a Spitfire there somewhere, right? Yeah. Classic. Okay, we're not going to do that again. We're just going to take the... the easier option. Uh, 
of this. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it would be double GFI to get to the witch, which is kind of what I was banking on uh, if we failed there. Not worth the reroll at this stage. You know, he hasn't moved. No reason for him to move at this point, but he's going to have to start thinking about pushing aside if he doesn't want to get kind of caught up here. Or I suppose you can, yeah, you can push the middle as well. Okay, I'm a value 7 holds this time. Could get a better foul on the guard this time, I think he might take it. Maybe should have moved him first. Uh, hmm. Very nice. Stay. I'll drop a reroll on that. Hmm. Don't know how I feel about that. But I mean, you know, it, it's one of those things where it's like first dodge of the turn. Twice in a row. Well, that's not... Yeah, it is actually true. Yeah. I don't want to really open up either of these guys to that mighty blow situation. So I think he's going to blitz here and get a better foul on the guard, probably. Oh no, he's going there. Could have re-rolled that, actually. Unless he's going to planning on doing any uh, ball stuff, but I, I don't think he is. So I think... I mean, it's a touch greedy, but not really overall. This is getting to the point where it's almost a little too conservative, I feel, but time will tell. Oh dear. It's just as well that, like, he hasn't been pushing us, because if we were failing the first dodge every turn and he was connected, we'd have had to re-roll them every time as well. The good news is we've got four turns and three re-rolls left, so... You know, we can... Reroll the first one of each turn. Okay, that's not too bad.
Hmm. This is very conservative. Hey! Uh, okay, so I can have a think about this now. Okay. I wonder if he'll move down here. So he could stand this guy up, push through here, and then try and move into this space. Which is very much the plan. We do have a behind the scenes man. Oh. That surprises me. Very nice. Okay. Let's go get in position this turn. Which I don't know how he's going to do. Okay. What? I'm confused about this as well. 
don't have our important player in there, unfortunately. It's going to force the wolf down the sideline. That's going to be difficult at this stage. Guard is stunned, so that's actually probably going to stop us from getting a hit on the ball this turn. Oh, hang on. Is it? I mean, yeah, it is. Although... Okay, that makes more sense. If I was to get a successful push here... Uh, wouldn't help. Can't think of a way to get rid of this guy. Okay, I could theoretically do this. All this for two dice here. Yeah. Well, didn't really work out, but... I mean, honestly, I might have set it up so that he can score. These guys are... He's two away. Could he chain push this? Uh, I mean, theoretically. There goes Lanier. I mean, this is the Dan This is what I don't like about the the thing that we did is that we did kind of base up with our entire team, which could could also throw the game as well as it could theoretically give us a chance. Yeah. 
Yep, here's the here's the hit on the witch that we've been trying to avoid the whole game. Getting this guy in was nice. Because he makes it so he can't just come through here. Is he going to dodge this guy? Oh, he got the pow. Brutal pow there. If he hadn't powered, he was in all sorts of trouble. Uh, yeah. Oh, he didn't- it wasn't a blitz, that's right, he already used his blitz. Oh, I should have thought about that. Ooh, I hope this is a send-off, because then we can get hit on the ball. No. Needs not to hit the witch here. Actually, we can still get a hit on the ball, right? Okay, so what do we do here? I'd like to get rid of the guard. But he's a problem. Can I get rid of that problem? I could do this. Actually, maybe better would be this. Because if we do manage to get hit on the ball, it needs to be from the other direction. Okay, so now we're kind of in two dice against territory. Probably still worth it, because you're looking at a... 3 plus. Uh, I don't even... I guess here? Can't follow that up, unfortunately. Okay, the ball is free. It's in five tackle zones. Um... There's no way to push somebody into there. Right, uh... That <laughs> failed the first dodge, that, that ain't a great sign. Well, we tried. The good thing that he did there was just absolutely surround it with uh, a lot of players, right? So we're down to 10 for the second half. But we didn't get scored on, so that is a positive. Don't know how I feel about our chances of stalling this out. So I don't plan on trying. Let's 
Tricky one. Is it worth trying to hit this front line? Probably. Probably. We can we can pop our own guard in there. Guess you're gonna try and get the ball by the looks of it. Uh, who would be blitzing here? I think we actually probably want to do this. Okay, and that is our setup. CF kick? No. Perfect defense isn't great. He doesn't have either of his ghouls on, so he's he's put um leader off the field. I I don't mind having this enough, but you got, I think you gotta have this guy. Oh, it's movement six. That's still better than movement four, right? Plus the re-roll. So I think now you'd like move this guy down here, move this guy down here, and you're happy really. Where's the ball? Not crazy deep. Okay, looks like he's maybe just going to keep it pretty defensive. Yeah, he is. Okay. Don't like the fact we'd be going near that guy. But I suppose needs must. Push. Yeah, I don't like that. Nice. Strength two here, so obviously that's a bit of a problem. A lot of ones at the beginning of turns this game. It's not been a a complete disaster, but it's not really what you need. Uh, I'd have liked to have got the ball up a little higher here. Okay, looks like he's going to play this pretty conservatively. 
because I'd have been tempted to push him back onto this guy and then put a second guy, you know, maybe even bring this guy over just so that we can't get the hit back and then you sort of make us dodge off, essentially. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't mind getting rid of his guard. And by get rid, I mean, of course, just push gently backwards. Swarm a bit of a defensive wall there. Alright, let's pick up this ball. Alright, we are back where we want to be. I guess we'll probably, depending on what he decides to do here, we'll probably do the uh, attempt to push pull to one side and then pull to the other kind of deal. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't always pan out the way you want, but... So I think we show aggressive on this side. Have to double GFI to get him round. So we'll have a think about that. Or would I? Hang on. If I stand him up... Three... Four, yeah, because I can't... I don't want a three plus out of there. I had another blitzer over here. Could surf this guy technically. That should make it a bit more fiddly. Let's tempt him with that, see how he feels about it. I'd have loved to have got somebody around just to really give him something to really like stretch his team because now he can close this off pretty effectively, especially with the flesh golem. One, two, three, four. So the golem comes here. You'd have to move the wall first, but I think that's okay. And then you pop the golem here and it's like, where are we going? Doesn't fall for the witch bait. Oh, hello. The question is, is he going to fill in the gap? He could put the... Oh. Guard in here.
God needs to be here. Alright, so can we push back the other way? Because I don't like this a whole lot. Let's see if we can. I just realized how open I've left the, uh, <laughs> the ball here. And I'm not pleased with that. Nice, nice. Do I leave the witch over here? To try and hold these guys in place? I think I do. I mean, at least one of them's gonna block her. Unfortunately, he didn't really overcommit to the side, so that was good play. He committed enough to make it difficult, and then spread the rest, which is really sensible. Good positioning of the flesh golems as well, so... Fair play on all of that, unfortunately. Oh, I thought he might come through on this guy. Oh, this is the value 7, so... Guaranteed death. risky here. But now this is tricky because this is a frenzy trap, right? Unless he commits a bunch to it, which he could do. Okay, that worked out quite nicely. So we don't care about anything over here anymore, we're just trying to surf this wolf. Oof. That was a sound I didn't want to hear. Uh, right now this is a two dice into one dice.
Uh, I, d I haven't really got this guy safe is the only thing. Not really important or anything. It's kind of tricky to do as well. Uh, I suppose we make this a blitz. Okay, that is good. Okay, dodging is going better now. Okay. That was a pretty, pretty, I'm happy with that turn. We're still kind of too close to the end of the game here, but I think what we've done here is spread the play around. I didn't think about this guy at all. And he's actually very surfable, so we're probably going to get counter surfed here. Why did I not consider this? I think I thought she was going to come back, and then I realized I needed her to help protect the ball, so... That's getting caught in two mines. So I guess what we're going to see here is two dice here, two dice here, and then maybe the attempted one dice surf? If... although they'd have to knock her down, so... That's pretty. If, we, if that had been that one or this one, that would be not very nice. I, I don't know if we're going to actually get around to attempting to score here. I think he's trying to decide if he wants to leave this guy alone. Well, that's it, that might be into a. I mean, it's probably fine, but I think that's into a GFI. It was just gets pushes as well, which is nice. So that was a uh, a bit of a a sad blitz there from his perspective. I think I'd have still maybe gone for this, hope to get the power, and then come around and one dice this guy because then that's that would be huge. If he leaves this guy over here to mark this, that's a big win for us. Then again, if he if he doesn't, that's kind of potentially a big win as well, because we can run him over here out of, you know, have a potential scoring threat. Couple of big armor breaks this turn. What do we do here? How do we get through? Because this is all kinds of bad for a block here. If she didn't have Frenzy, it'd be okay. I mean, we could just, we could just try it, and if it... If it goes poorly, because it, if it works, it's fine, because we get two dice, we move them to here. No, that's still a problem. We move him to here, and then we blitz with this guy, but then we need that to work as well. So yeah, I don't like that at all. Um, 
that's a one dice. We could blitz through here and try and switch sides again. Or even not blitz, but block through here and then blitz this guy maybe? Oh, that's a nice. Oh, that's a nice. I realize that this isn't a great dodge, but, you know, we, we still kind of have to make it. Okay, we gave given ourselves a chance here. And if we can keep this guy occupied in some way, that would be really lovely. I don't know if we'll be able to, but then... He is relying on pairs. Okay, still taking one for the team. Will he survive? Yes. Oh, that blocker again. It's going to be hard to get much up the field. <laughs> I imagine this guy's coming down in here. Nice going back for coverage. I don't think I would make this hit. No, I didn't. Okay. That's not what I was hoping for. That is actually quite a big problem. I should have hit him beforehand, I think. Do I now just do this? I think I do. Oh dear, this is all kinds of not working the way I wanted it to. Okay, that is nice. Okay, that was some good dodging there. Needed that. And we do have more elves in, in scoring positions now, which is also big. 
And we have kind of most of the guys based up here that can get involved, so we just got to hope that he can't dodge enough of them off in the direction he wants them to go. Oh, I really expected... Uh, well, this is a guy you want to hit with, right? So I assume he's going to hit with the wolf now. I guess all this guy. I'm thinking he might dodge this guy for assist and then blitz with the wolf. On tackle though, which is nice. That was, I'll be honest, that was an accident, but I, I'm happy with it. I guess he's trying to get this guy involved. Uh, where though? Here? And then two dice this? No, that doesn't help. None of this matters. It's purely these two guys. Whatever you want to do with them. Gets it. Skull into push. Guess he'll dodge this guy off as well now. So we know what we got to do, we got to dodge off and just try and get a push of some kind. If our uh, Wrestle Witch was not Agility 3, I'd be trying with her at Wire. Nobody's free. Uh, I don't think anybody can get free. So it has to be her. She has... Okay, so I come in from this direction. <laughs> I just remembered Frenzy at the last second there. Well, in retrospect, should I have even done that? Because we had to make the dodge there. I don't think I should have done that. <clears throat> it's turn 16. I suppose, okay, so I suppose the better thing about doing that is that you, um... Is that you don't drop the ball if it fails, which means it's harder for him to get a counter score. But I don't even—I don't even think he probably could have counter scored there. Don't want to sacrifice my AV sevens. I hope I don't regret it. I may regret it if he uh, if he gets to gets the one turn off. Did set that up right, right. Yeah, one one extra square away. Got the tackle zones covered as best we can. Yeah, okay.
I think in the end our armor didn't break enough for him. I think <clears throat> I think even though we he probably got a decent amount of armor breaks, he didn't get any good lasting injuries. And that's what allowed us to keep staying that as we did. Um I think it was good. I think he defended it well, though, honestly. Like, he never he never let me get away from him. He kept his tackle guy relevant, like, almost all the time, which is really tricky. Uh, I suppose the only nice thing about that is it meant he wasn't always blitzing with him because uh, he needed to keep him in position or whatnot. But I still think... I still think you've got to keep him, you know, got to keep him relevant, and you can always blitz with wolves and whatnot. Um... I suppose the only the only dodgy thing was the the wolf blitz into a one dice here, which let us get him to the sideline and then surf him off, which I think was a big help. So that would be the only the only thing I'd really say was like good for us. Uh, I mean, hang on, it was you know I suppose I suppose arguably suboptimal, but. Even that, maybe there was an argument for it. I didn't really sort of think it through. I think he, I think he played pretty well, honestly. Unusually, my uh, my armor didn't get as broken as uh, as it could have done. I think, if anything, it was the attack that was the. I know he had that misclick on the one turn, but I think he needs to push aside uh, a, a turn or two earlier. Yeah, I mean, we. I guess we sort of elfed it. I that definitely wasn't as elfy as it could have been. Um, in the sense, we didn't have to make any. Look, we were able to keep it in the hat in the hands of the ball carrier the whole time. Uh, so no dodgy handoffs. Uh, the main dodgy thing were the dodges. We had a couple of risky dodges. Um, I don't know if we even had any. Risky one dices that I can remember, but maybe we did. Oh. He stole the MVP. Two armor breaks, 12 armor breaks, but we rolled hardly any blocks. Yeah, actually didn't get that many blocks either. I guess the first half there wasn't that much block until the last turn or two. Very little <laughs> SPP all round. Very cagey affair. I think he, he played it very, um, very cagey, which, and I always play pretty cagey, so... There we go. So we've made it through that round. I I don't know. I don't think we're going to go all the way. There's some really brutal teams in this competition. So, uh, but you know, as far as we can get, we can get. It's nice. Uh, so let's have a look what we've had so far. Oh, there's only one match left to play. Oh no, we're going to have to play the um. We've got a good chance of having to play the Orcs again. Um, just a, such a scary team. I mean, if they could take some attrition, 
beforehand. I, I mean, I'd, I'd be okay with that. I mean, semi-okay with it. They're a very scary team. So what does that do for our record now? 15-4-2. Pretty, pretty alright there. So this is what I'm trying to work towards in the CCL, but... You, you need a you need a few lucky games and we've had a few lucky games with this team uh and only a couple where i felt like we got unlucky so our our blitzer here is not going to be that useful against the orcs we'd rather come up against like one of the other elves or even even necro maybe i mean the necro could win that game but those those orcs have three elves on the team and that's Three armor, armor nine elves, and that's that's brutal. Uh, I don't know if we'll keep Pee Wee or not. I mean, he did do good this this game. Uh, I really, yeah, I really don't know what we'll do. I guess we'll see what what the team we face ends up looking like. Uh, but what else has happened? So the Woodies are out. I think this is more dark. Oh, hang on. Okay, never mind. These Dark Elves are going to have to... Okay, we haven't got those, so we've got the... Oh, no, we've got the humans again. See, there's some really good teams with some really good players. Um, Camel Traps is a great player, so... And he's got a pretty nasty team. We're going to have to just try and avoid that. Uh, great record there, especially for humans. So, yeah. So we know what we're playing against. Yeah, I mean, it's what it is. We'll just we'll just see. Um, he's got level ups here as well, so that will probably become. Is he going to go tackle? Probably. Probably going to go tackle. Although I think there's an argument for. It's probably an argument for piling on or stand firm as well. To be true. Got a catcher. Oh dear. This catcher's leveled up as well. So he's probably getting um sure feet, maybe. He's got sprint, could get sure feet, could get fend. Uh if he's using them for one turning, then sure feet's good. So actually our tackle will be quite useful in this game if we keep him alive. And then this wrestle one, he'll probably get sidestep. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Alrighty, well, thanks for watching, everybody. That was a good game. We uh, we survived it, and uh, somehow, I guess we'll roll on to the next one. See you next time. Bye for now.